Shalom and welcome to The Lord Reigns. I am telling you today, you are in for something great. Get ready for your miracle. Today is a day with a difference. God has indeed smiled so big over you and your family members. I have a wonderful special Honorable Minister of the Gospel with me today. I will introduce him shortly. Let's read from Psalm 100. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, it is he that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth for all and to all generations. And I have with me Pedro Eustache. Hi, dearest bishop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, when, I, when I'm reading this psalm, um, everything about you is praising the Lord. Very much in spite of me. <laughs> I'm telling you everything. <laughs> and this is what I want to do, Pedro. Yes, Pastor. I just want you to flow as the Holy Spirit okay. leads. I, I don't need to introduce you. I think many people already know you that's watching. If you don't know him, just Google Pedro Eustache. And he will tell you a little bit more how you can get hold of him. But let me just allow the Holy Spirit to use you. Whatever he says to do, do it. Amen. That's wonderful. Let me start, Bishop, with worship. Amen. Let me do that. Okay. I didn't plan on this, but we prayed, and the Lord is guiding me to do this, and this is what I'm going to do. Amen. Hello, my name is Pedro Eustache. I am a multicultural worshiper of the living God. Amen. I was born and raised in Venezuela. My parents came from Haiti. My wife also was born in Venezuela, but parents coming from Argentina and uh, Russia. And, but don't call her Russian. She was born in Venezuela, so let's keep that good. And my mother was white. My dad was black, so I'm chocolatico in Café Olé in the middle. But I'm playing right now an instrument that comes from Armenia. This is the duduk, and it will sound familiar to you because this is one of the instruments I had the privilege to use in the uh, sound, literally, of the film, The Passion of the Christ. I had the privilege of being the main wind instrumentalist on, the, on, on that uh, 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 the sound. Yeah, the, the, the sound, uh, the, how do you call it? the music of, there's a term for that, it will come to me. And... Uh, this is, again, I'm going to improvise something that the Lord will inspire me. Um, out of an instrument 
that is not from a land I was born directly, but we all were born indirectly. Because in Armenia, uh, Bishop, there is Mount Ararat. We all come from Ararat. Amen. We all Armenians. That's right. <laughs> and with this, I'm going to illustrate Amen. something that will hit somebody's reality, Amen. something Amen. really powerful, Amen. something Amen. universal. Amen. Here is a duduk. <laughs> to Jesus. Uh, I want to establish something from the very, very get-go, my dearest bishop. We all have incredible things. You are all extremely blessed. And God has allowed really big, huge things in my life. Many times I say, which is the truth, is very much in spite of me, not because of me. I have a PhD in spite of Ness. Mm. Because I uh, know who I am when they go to Google and they see many of the things God has allowed. Dear Bishop, many people get very impressed. Very impressed. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> without minimizing what, what God has done, I want to always put in perspective the reality of my life. And I made a covenant with God. Amen. Before we did this, you were praying and you said exactly the same thing. Amen. We prayed. Yes. You said, Lord, we vow to give you the glory. Amen. Amen. So what I did in the beginning was an expression of worship. Amen. Anything that any follower of Christ does is an expression of worship. Amen. Amen. Whether you work in a store whether you broom the street and you clean the street right. that is your ministry that broom in that street That's that right. is territory that god has amen. given you amen and if you're not in the lord come join the club because god loves you that's right powerfully amen he made you with a purpose amen and he designed an amazing Hallelujah. thing for your life Hallelujah. the word says before the creation before the foundation of the universe god has thought of Hallelujah. you and the creator of the universe sat down and took time and designed Hallelujah. the best path for your life. We keep talking about this during this, this wonderful time. Uh, dear Bishop, let me introduce myself correctly. Uh, please forget all those big things and not forget. Again, let me put it in perspective. There's Europe and graduated and many conservatories and we have different uh, things, masters, degree from California Institute of the Arts and things at the, at the Taj Mahal and big places and big names and things like that. But the truth is this, and I will explain to you in a very honest, direct way, sincere way, why I'm saying what I'm saying. My name is Pedro Eustache. I am professional trash redeemed, rescued, oh my God. rebuilt mm. by the grace and the blood Hallelujah. of Christ. Now, listen, I am not 
a religious freak. Mm -mm. I am a Jesus freak. That's amen, a amen, 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 amen. <laughs> I'm not a fanatic. Thank you, you see, Lord Jesus. We are watching absolutely horrible things done in the name of God by I, fanatics in the world. Listen right. to me, God has nothing to do with horrors like that. That's right, that's right. God is love. Yes. God allowed his son to amen. die for you and for me and amen, for all of us. Amen, amen, So much he loves us. Amen. And we'll talk about that later. Look at this bracelet here. You'll see it later. We're going to talk about this. My dearest bishop, thank you for the amazing blessing, Hallelujah. the opportunity to allow me to be Hallelujah. here today. Hallelujah. I don't believe in coincidences. No. Long time ago, I believe in God incidences. Amen. And this is one of them. Amen. Amen. Thank you for my brother, dearest brother Mario, who insisted on me coming again. Amen. Thank you, my brother. Amen. God bless you for Amen. that. <laughs> it is always a privilege for Amen. me to share. Amen. Thank you for trusting and for allowing me Amen. these precious these Amen. precious minutes Amen. Um, i have increased for knowing you oh, God you and your lovely you. wife God bless you I have let let's say Amen. that is again by god's work through us Amen. Amen. I, I am so painfully aware of my limitations they should Amen. sincerely so and that's why that i rely, give him the glory that's why we rely on the grace of god exactly and that's why yes. we recognize our limitations. And yes. he says that through our weaknesses, then he he's glorified. Strong. Amen. And so basically, when I, when I played this thing, I will assure you, I don't need to have special powers of perception to know that people resonate with this. People get affected with this. Yes. And yet, we were not directly born and raised in Armenia. Yet, there is something universal about this Amen. that affects all of us. We will keep talking and sharing with you a reality that is universal, that goes beyond geographies, mm -hmm. beyond chronologies, Amen. Amen. beyond cultures, Amen. beyond traditions, Amen. Amen. which can be very beautiful, can mm -hmm. be very brutal too. But there is a reality which is a relationship, not a religion. Mm -mm. Religion can be a beautiful thing. Traditions can be beautiful things too, but I'm talking about something else. Amen. We're talking about a relationship with the Lord, with Amen. the creator of the universe. Amen. And it's important for me to emphasize this. Um, although I'm a Westerner, Bishop is not. Mm -mm. She's from Africa. Mm -hmm. So right here, you can that's see right. there's an internationality. That's, that's not right. a good word, but I just made it up that's to, right. to <laughs> Amen. illustrate Amen. like this instrument that there are realities, that there are dynamics that are universal Amen. and that affect humankind, Hallelujah. period. Dearest Bishop, when I am in the Middle East, I am confronted with beautiful things. Many times, wonderful friends, great food, fantastic music, but there's also the reality, like in India as well, in many of our countries, in which Many times, certain religions define the cultures. That's true. And we need to understand that. Yes, that's true. And we need to recognize yes. that. Sadly, sadly, I have to recognize that many of these countries became what they are today and reject many of the things we share today because unfortunately, people that said that they were followers of Christ were doing things that were exactly the opposite, opposite of yes. what Jesus is yes. about. And we yes. want to clarify that. Yes, yes. Historically, there have been things that were done by ignorant people that have absolutely nothing to do with Christ. That's true. It's all about love. That's true. And about literally loving any and everybody, the foreigners, yes. the women. Mm -hmm. And, and, and empowering them, Hallelujah. which is something we don't see a lot, even in our Western countries. That's the truth. You see? So I, I need to clarify this. We That's need to truth. be honest and, and, mm -hmm. and direct with this. And so I'm not talking about a reality that defines me culturally. No. Mm -mm. As a human being, the gospel, and I got this Hallelujah. from a beautiful minister, Caleb Quay. I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing this from him again. Amen. He should come here someday. He's Amen. a fantastic, Amen. fantastic Amen. minister. I would very highly recommend him to Amen. you. He's now the minister of, 
of uh, worship at uh, Church on the Way, Van Nuys. Amen. Yeah. And he's like me. He's mulatto. His mama is, is white. His dad came from Ghana. Wow. So he has to come here. Wow, this, he has to come. Oh, my, and you will see his fire in God. <laughs> he used to be Elton John's guitar player before he got saved. Really? Oh, there's oh, an he, amazing story. You have you, to bring it. Absolutely. Mario, we have to talk. Yes. My brother. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I'm going to borrow from him. And I was impacted when he told me this. And I said, I am going to use this. He said that the gospel is a gospel of love, Amen. affirmation, and Amen. identity. Amen. I That's am powerful. who I am, not because of what I do. Mm -mm. Listen, I have something like 600 instruments. Wow. Pastor God has blessed me with incredible creativity. Everybody's creative. Mm -hmm. When God made us in the beginning of time and he blew life yes, over yes, us and yes, he made us yes. with similarity yes. i don't think it was only meaning to be able to differentiate between good and evil but mm -hmm. also to have the creative capacity Amen. we reflect god's yes, creativity yes. and some of it are in these instruments that i'm going to share with you during this beautiful hour yes how powerful that we have a whole hour for this Amen. We i'm like do. a lion eating a lot of big fat mama beef here <laughs> i'm so happy meat <laughs> i mean my i mean i mean i mean my element i'm like Fish and water. I love this. Amen. It's always 10 minutes, 15 Amen. minutes. An hour is a beautiful Amen. thing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, dearest Bishop. And what I'm saying again with this is with all the respect to other cultures in other geographies in other traditions, I'm talking about something which is like an onion yet in another layer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is something like I mentioned before, I emphasize this, yeah. that goes beyond our cultures. Amen. Culturally, like I said, I'm a multicultural yeah. expression. I define myself as a multi-directional flute soloist and winds and everything. They can go to pedroflute.com. They mm -hmm. can see my whole mm -hmm. life there. Or like you said in the mm -hmm. beginning, they mm -hmm. can Google me. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, any and everything you see there is by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Not because I'm a big deal or mm -hmm. I did something to deserve that. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Believe me. If people knew what they mean when they say, oh, if there is God, there should be justice. There should be this and that. Listen, if we only get what, what we deserve by justice, all what we deserve is, is hell. I'm telling you, death. Literally. Mm -hmm. And in God's grace, mm. who is this really... Dear Bishop, this blows mm -hmm. my brain away. Mm -hmm. Jesus. He came, my God. He's the only one mm -hmm. in which system, in which I don't have to pay. Mm -hmm. In every system, you have to pay. Mm -hmm. You have to pay. Yes, you have to pay. Yes. You have to do this. You have to. Yes. Here he says, come. I yes, paid for you. Just as you are. Amen. I paid for you. Hallelujah. All we have to do is accept his gift. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the amazing thing is that... He's the only one, God's amazing wisdom that blows me away. He's mm. the only one that could connect mm. two realities that look, two dynamics that look exclusive, but he made it. Mm. He didn't change mm -mm. the contract mm -mm. we had signed with him in the beginning, which wow. says the wage of the payment of sin is death. death. Yes. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, oh, I love them. Let me change like many people try to do mm -hmm. in, 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 in justice, yes. justice in yes. our countries. They try to move the thing to accommodate because a son did something wrong. Mm -hmm. Or they try to look the other way and mm -hmm. try to manipulate mm -hmm. the, the law so that it doesn't apply to their sons yes, or yes. their family no. or whatever or to themselves. Yes. There's many corrupt politicians in the world. Mm -hmm. The thing is. He is the only one that stayed a hundred percent. I'm telling you, just a man, a man, and a hundred percent love. A man, and through the sacrifice of Christ, mm. he literally embodied what apparently are contradictions mm. or things that exclude each other. Mm -hmm. Only God can do that. Only Him can what? be a hundred percent just well, and a hundred percent love. A man, and a He man. did, and this is what defines. Our endeavor, Yes. what I do, I repeat, doesn't define who I am. Mm -mm. The grace of God rescuing you in me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The gospel of Christ Hallelujah. is the one that defines me. And let Amen. me tell you something. All throughout this wonderful time, think about this. 
hey, we're not here to sell ideology to mm -mm. you. No, mm -mm. we're not manipulating. We're not being paid for no, that. Listen, no, no. the contrary. We are being exposed to be rejected many times. <laughs> That's right. You see? But That's once it. you have tasted, listen, Hallelujah. I am thirsty now. Mm -hmm. Listen, look at this. Mm -hmm. This is water. I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. If I know this is water, but I don't do anything, will that take my thirst no, away? No, the thirst will remain. My knowledge about it, my knowing mm -hmm. that having water mm -hmm. will take the thirst away will not satisfy, will no, not take care of it. Only, it. exactly. Mm -hmm. How do you say, Bishop, until I, please say you it. You drink it. Until yes, you until I go yeah. in. Mm -hmm. oh. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is what we need to do with God's Hallelujah. gift Amen. to us. Amen. We have Amen. to go and drink him. Amen. Amen. And taste Amen. him. Amen. And let and him good. take Hallelujah. care of our thirst. God, because what you good. have is thirst in the spirit. What Jesus. you have is lack of direction mm. or sometimes lack of purpose. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Why you were created? Yes. Where are you here for? Let's call existential questions. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I'm not a philosopher, but I'm a very pragmatic person. I'm a very practical person. Mm -hmm. I know exactly why I am in this planet. Amen. I am here to do exactly that for which you were created, Bishop was created, Amen. everybody else was Amen. created for which is to be in a wonderful relationship with, the Lord. with your Hallelujah. creator Amen. through worship. worship. And then as you worship him, yes. he blesses you. You worship, worship. he blesses you. Amen. And listen again, worship is not only playing my instruments. Worship is being on my car, Amen. thinking and glorifying God. Amen. Amen. Worship is doing whatever you do. Hallelujah. Because many, many times, there's bishop, people don't remember this. They tell me, Pedro, you've played with these people and you've played with people who are not necessarily uh, Christians. H how do you explain that? Can you play uh, secular music? Can you play uh, sacred music? Uh, listen, I am a follower of Christ. Anything I do is for Christ. Amen, <laughs> amen, amen. I cannot stop being who I am. No, 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 no. That's who you are. Listen, this is the color of my skin. Mm -hmm. I got the blessing of two amazing cultures in me, mm -hmm. the European and the African. Amen. And this is who I am. Amen. Why am I going to stop being who I am in order to accommodate something who I am not? Mm -mm. I am a follower of Christ. Amen. He saved me. And I will tell you the story of why I still very strongly walk in Christ. This is such Hallelujah. a beautiful Thank opportunity. You, Lord Jesus. Thank you again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was born and raised in Caracas. Like I said, my parents came from Haiti. They spoke other languages. We ate other foods. They spoke Spanish even with an accent. But I was born and raised in Venezuela. So I'm already multicultural, not only by DNA code yeah. and inheritance, uh, but also by the reality of my, my upbringing, and which is a reality now in the global uh, dynamic of, of our times. That's true. So I fit really well with this. <laughs> you fit. This is global. This is global. And the Amen. thing is, I grew up in Venezuela. I was blessed with an amazing family. My parents are already with Jesus, but they 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 brought me up in his in his in his path. But of course, it gets to a point when you are uh, a teenager that you want to see if this works or not. Mm. Mm. Again, it's not enough for somebody else to go and drink the water. You have to go and drink it yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to have a personal experience. That's right. And test him. Correct. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not the same. Mm -mm. I cannot put in words mm -mm. what I have received mm -mm. by being in a relationship with the Creator through the sacrifice of Christ and the wonderful blessing of His Holy Spirit over, over me. I cannot put that in words. Words yeah. are really, really yes. very incredibly limited. Yes. Yes. The thing is, I realized and I understood, dearest Bishop, God's plan, God's love when I was nine years of age. Wow. And then they say kids don't know. Kids do know. Yes, they do. I'm 55 years of age now. Since I was nine, Amen. I understood what God wanted to give me. Of course, with the, with the mind of a kid, yes, with the yes, mind yes, of, of a child. Yes, yes. But I did understand. 
I want this. I want God's amen, gift for amen, me. Yeah. I want Jesus. And I went. I grew up blessed, like I said, in a wonderful family. My elder brothers, like Renaissance men, we're seven of us. There's six, six gentlemen and one beautiful wow. girl, poor thing. There's six of us and only one of her, of, of, of her, she's amazing. She's in Florida. She's a doctor. She's working on a second PhD. She's ministers in four languages to people wow. uh, as a therapist. And she's my own therapist, although by law she's not supposed to, but she blesses me. And she's married also to a minister there in Florida, in Orlando. And my elder brother um, was this open, incredible intellectual that got me into music since I was very little. So we grew up in the Baptist church, Southern Baptist Church in Venezuela. Imagine that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I learned all the hymns and everything exactly at the same time as I learned all my Venezuelan traditional folk music. I was exposed to one. Can, can I tell the people that yeah. you, you have um, um, one of these beautiful CD? Uh -huh. this, this is signed to me, so I can give this away. Please. But uh, for those of you watching, you can get the hymns by Pedro. All you need to do is to go to the website. Yeah, pedroflute.com. Uh -huh. Pedroflute. Like the musical com. instrument. Pedro. Pedro. Flute. flute. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> and uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful album, beautiful yeah, thank CD. You, thank Hymns you. of Yesterday and Today, and I love it. God and bless uh, you. I brought it to the station so we could be God using it in the station. God bless you. My so pleasure. So you want to get this. That's wonderful. Pedroflute.com. God bless you. Mm -hmm. And literally, this is consequence of my upbringing. My brother got me into music since I was very little and exposed me to incredible variety of music. I'm to this day reaping the benefits and the consequence of many people, but the main one, the, the number one is my brother's. I'm wow. a consequence of my brother's musical vision. Wow. I'm a, pro I'm a product of that. Wow. And God started blessing me with key people through my life. He's one of the main ones. And so as I grew up, I was exposed to other things. Um, I got into something which is historic now. Uh, is el sistema of uh, 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 orchestras of children and youth people. I was one, almost one of the founders of that in the 70s. Uh, today, we are literally in Los Angeles. The conductor of the, uh, the, uh, the LA Philharmonic yes. is this super amazing, celebrated, super young genius conductor called Gustavo Dudamel. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a personal friend. And his product also of that is a genius product. He's third generation of something I am first generation of. And we started in this. I did my studies of classical music through that. My brother would not let me off. So you kids who are gifted, mm -hmm. listen to your parents. Amen. You will thank them later the same way I am thinking. I'm thinking and I am blessing my brother for not allowing me to stop. Wow. I wanted to stop, but he said, no, no, no. You pick up whatever instrument you want. I was playing the violin. I wow. hated it. Wow. I sounded like a cat. It is horrible. And I said, I can't do this. I said, okay, you don't play the violin, but you're good for this. I'm not going to let you off the hook. Wow. You're going to pick something up, and you're going to keep. And I bless him to this day because wow. thanks to him, who was a flute player, I picked up the flute, and I, he was my first teacher, and I started like that. And all came from there. The thing is, hmm. After that, we went to Europe, I uh, graduated from two conservatories in Paris, but I got married with beautiful Sarah uh, Borushko. Now she's, her name is Eustache, like mine. And we were very young. We came back to, to Venezuela. After that, I, we started also in Switzerland. It's fantastic teachers, fantastic, great masters. And I have, hopefully I will not, I will not forget is something that might inspire somebody. There are many parts of our testimony I would love to, to share today. Um, uh, so this is, I went there in 80. This is 35, almost 35 years ago now. The thing is, God blessed us. Got my thing. I got back to Venezuela. And then we had a beautiful daughter. Now, let me explain to you what happens. You get back, you're blessed. I'm first flute of the symphony orchestra. I'm teaching at the conservatory. I started working in many different uh, uh, studios. I was probably the busiest flute player at that time 
in Venezuela. And then I got this thing, this insatisfaction thing with classical Western music. The creativity thing that he was asking was, was calling me. Wow. I wanted to get into jazz. And I was exposed to many things in Paris because Paris is such an incredibly cosmopolitan and, and incredibly world open, multicultural mm -hmm. thing. And I got exposed to uh, African music, mm -hmm. you know, ma Malinke mm -hmm. music, and all the uh, uh, sub Saharan, mm -hmm. uh, 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 from, from especially from uh, 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 Senegal. In this, mm -hmm. There's the whole Cuyate. Uh, wow. uh, uh, of them, and I was studying balafon, and I was studying talking drum what, that's 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 back then, wow. and, and I was studying um, Japanese flute, uh, uh, shakuhachi, with Fran Noel, and then I was Alpha Cuyate was my teacher's name, Alpha Cuyate. He was one of the wow. one of yeah one of the big uh, yeah, lineage it's, it's, of the yes. Cuyate, uh, and uh, um, I was exposed to Indian music. I was playing sitar at the time. I discovered the great genius Ravi Shankar. And God allowed me to be exposed in jazz. So I wanted to be creative. I couldn't stay playing Western classic music, which is wonderful, but I needed, and I wanted to go to come to the States to wow. study jazz, to be creative. Um, let me jump and tell you what's going on now so I can go back to this. By God's grace, dearest Bishop, I can speak openly because yes. it's God's doing, it's yes. not me. Yes. Again, I repeat, it's in spite of me, not because yes. of me. Yeah. So I give him the glory. Amen. God has allowed huge things. I have been three times with John Williams recording. I have been with Steven Spielberg. We did Munich, the movie. Wow. I played for Indiana Jones for, I played for uh, War Horse. And using many of the instruments here, by the way, um, this head here is what I use for, India, for War Horse in my flute in my Western flute and like that. And I played Duduk also in Indiana Jones and I played in Munich and I played uh, the Kawala also in, in Munich. And besides that, God allowed me to be 10 years with, with, with Yanni who put me in the map. It's a great blessing in Yanni, my life. Yeah. God bless him, whatever he is. He, yeah. he was an, an amazing blessing to my life. Pastor, believe it or not, I'm jumped because things come to my mind. Three months before I got his call, uh, we were so poor, my wife and I, that I wanted to give up music. I was gonna go and sell cars. With a master's degree in jazz from an American university with great diplomas from European conservatories in classical Western music, which is very rare. Not many people can do both, both from, things. Yes. Um, it's like completely two different languages. And we were so poor. My wife, who was graduated from an art music school in Paris, was an educator, was selling chicken on a fast food restaurant that will remain uh, like that because they're not paying us for us to do publicity for them. If they pay us, then we name them. <laughs> wow. But the thing is, that was not her call in life. She was doing that while I was getting my thing together and I wasn't getting my thing together. I got to a point of frustration. I don't want to say desperation because as a Christian, you cannot be desperate. Yes. I got so frustrated that my New Year's resolution in 95 was to give up music and go sell cars. Mm. And I told my wife, who you know, yes. beautiful Sarah said, Mommy, yes. I'm sorry by not being able to provide the way I should. I've tried everything, all these great credits and everything are not helping me. And I give up, I don't care what they will say in Venezuela, uh, but I'm gonna go sell cars, I give up. Sarah turned and looked at me and she said, I don't know what you're gonna do. If you're gonna have to spend more time in your knees, praying to God, like God made you a musician for his sake. Amen. You're going to make it or you're going to make it. I Amen. didn't sacrifice my part for you to end up selling cars. Listen to me. Nothing wrong with selling cars. That's good. Mm -hmm. The only thing is God didn't create me for that. He yes. created me for something else. Yes. So please don't get offended if you sell cars. I'm not diminishing you by yes. any means. That's not the point. That's right. The point is to be aligned and that for which God created That's right. Me. That's right. That's right. And she didn't allow it. And I went like, 
You know her. She's taller than I me. I know. Like, mm, she's mommy. very gorgeous, too. What it? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. Yeah. And we're going to, mommy, whatever you say. Yeah. Three months after that, exactly the same week, my dad went with Jesus. I got mm -hmm. a phone call from Hong Kong, China. And it was Danny Reyes, wonderful friend from a very recognized uh, musician's lineage from Cuba. Very, very big family. The Reyes, de los Reyes family. Danny, who's a dear friend who I bless, whatever he is, he called me from Hong Kong and said, Pedro, Yanni's looking for a flute player. Would you like to do that? I said, you're kidding me? And that changed my life. Everything. Literally, that changed everything. Wow. God used my friend Danny mm. and God used mm. Yanni. And by the way, my dearest brother, James knew that I'm going to go there later, also recommended me for that because they wanted him to come play for Yanni. He said, no, 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 no I'm not the guy. Pedro is the guy. Wow. So they heard about me from two different, uh, My two different sources. So Yanni said, man, I got to pay attention to this guy. Wow. And it's beautiful. I won the audition with Yanni playing a hymn, which is there. And I'm playing with my wife in there, okay. which is literally the, the banner of the cross. Oh, okay. So if they get the thing, they can go to iTunes or whatever. They yes. can go on. I think it's even already on yes, the net. Yes, they can yes. listen to that. So yes. that's what I played for so my... So pedroflute.com. Uh-huh. And that's called... Pedroflute.com. Uh -huh. And that's called the banner. Please call and go get it. And it's Amen. called the Banner of the Cross, which is a hymn. <clears throat> and I played that, and I won my audition with Yanni, which confirmed something I was a little bit icky about, which, you know, I don't know if this is from God, because there's supposedly some connotation of something that is not aligned with my walk, and God confirmed me beautifully. That's what I play, glorifying Jesus. I played the Amen. banner of the cross. Yanni said, stop. He didn't even let me finish playing the song. Wow. The hymn. He said, stop. You are the guy I'm looking for. So, Yanni, God bless you, my friend. Amen. Whatever you are, you've been a blessing to my life. Amen. The thing is, after we went with Yanni, we did these huge projects that people can still watch in YouTube. One of them, Pastor, has more than 2 million hits. Oh my God. That's amazing. What Yanni did is something extraordinary, oh really. Oh my God. They're at the Taj Mahal and at the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. Mm. It's huge. It's stuff for history. Wow. The thing is, with that, our lot changed. God uses anyone. Yes. Remember, Pastor, something I was thinking I'm about. I'm telling you. <clears throat> this is very strong, what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. That'll Go tell ahead. you how open I am. Do you know that even in Jesus' lineage, there's, tell a, it. Pro there's, a, pro it. there's a prostitute? Tell it now. I was about to tell it. In Jesus' lineage, there's a... God can use Rehab. your life because God is sovereign. And God mm. will do whatever he wants with whoever he wants, whenever he wants, the way he wants, because God is God. Don't go there. And in, tw Hallelujah. in Are we good? 24 hours, <clears throat> this woman that was a harlot... Correct was engrafted into the kingdom of God. And became an element of change that blessed all of all us. All of us till today. Hallelujah. The same way, where was mm. Moses trained? Mm. Thank you. At the enemy's camp. Enemy's Enemy. camp. My brother Jack is from Egypt. Hallelujah. Mm. He's back there. <laughs> <laughs> Habibi. Amen. My Habibi is back Amen. there. Yeah. Amen. So Moses was trained, literally, and he was Exposed to the science, that's right, and to the letters, that's and right, and to the philosophy and everything, because God was equipping him, him of the enemy's camp. Yeah, because God is going to use whatever He wants, yes, in order for God, yes, to get the results He wants. Because we are still in this war. Hallelujah. And they have all kinds of things Correct. around and about us, and we must. Go beyond them. Correct. Not even matching them. Correct. We should go beyond them. And that that's, is the call. That is our call. That's how Correct. God took you all around the different cultures. Correct. Correct. And you can now reach every culture. And it's my blessing and my responsibility. Amen. And my duty. And this is the media. Exactly. You can reach Hallelujah. the entire nations Hallelujah. of the world. Hallelujah. And it's the truth because God is a global God. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is a multicultural God. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, he created you and I. He created all of us. He created the beautiful mm, cultures. Mm. He created the beautiful for different co mm. colors, our little mm. incredible foods. Mm. When I, one of the things that blows me away is how incredibly varied 
the spices I'm and the culture. Awesome. When I go and I try something from a country, mm. whoa, wow. how it is I so know. distinct and so unique and I so know. powerful I and know. so beautiful. I know. And it doesn't compare to anything else because it got its uniqueness. Yes. Because God made us, made yes. us unique. Yes. And the thing is, after this whole Yanni thing, it exploded, it mm. exposed me. My People God. started calling me from Everywhere. the big movies and I entered into the studios and it all snowballed and amazing mm. My thing. God, my God. And I've been from playing from with Shakira to Yanni, like I mentioned, to Paul McCartney, to Emmanuel, to uh, I don't know how many people to tell you. And that's what God allowed. And, mm. and many more say, to come. Hallelujah. For mm. the glory of the mm. The thing is, people might say, but Pedro, how come you started with Ravi Shankar and you have started with Jivan Gasparian Duduk and you started Indian music with great Bharat Ratna? great master Ravi Shankar. I have the privilege to be the only Latino who studied with the great Ravi Shankar. Wow. We even won a Grammy by doing something concert for George at the Royal Albert Hall in London. Wow. It's a masterpiece that wow. master Ravi Shankar wrote for the memory of George Harrison, the ex Beatle who died. So this whole concert is a huge event that God allowed one of his sons to be exactly in there, dead the in the light. middle of the thing. And the beautiful Hallelujah. thing is, I love my Indian friends. They all have their own thing. And at one point, you know, they're singing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And I went to Trafalgar Square and got me a fat mama cross. Amen. Big time. Amen. And while they're singing Hare Krishna, I'm singing Hare Cristo. <laughs> <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> because we need to be also present whenever whatever god allows us opens to the be. door amen correct which is not what i'm saying to go to expose yourself to dangerous mm -mm. places or places where god has not called you to be that's, that's right. a different thing mm -hmm. we need to be prudent anyhow the thing with all this why i'm saying all these things these these are really important significant things things with th symphony orchestras in fact i don't know if i mentioned yes i did in the beginning i mentioned the thing of the passion of the christ next week literally because this is life. Next mm -hmm. week, I'm flying to Spain because we're doing for the second time, the third time, I'm sorry, the Symphony of the Passion of the Christ of the composer of the soundtrack, great composer, John Debney. Um, wow. We're going to do this at the mosque in Cordoba. Wow. We're going to go glorify the name of Christ. Look next at week God. With huge symphony orchestra and choir and singers and everything. I'm going to play for my Jesus right there. Oh, Father, because we this thank year you. is the 10th anniversary of the Passion of the Christ. It's true. 10 years ago we did this. So God is doing these things. The, oh the amazing God. thing is I wasn't here a few years ago, especially 27 years ago. Our daughter went through a situation. And people can say, Pedro, how come you speak about all these big things and Grammy Award and Spielberg and John Williams and Paul McCartney. Oh, this guy got an ego. No, I don't have an ego. And I will explain to you why I don't have an ego. And I'm being as sincere and as direct and as honors and honor and as transparent as I can when I tell you this, genuine. I cannot have an ego because there is no award or no recognition or no nothing fame or anything that this life can give me that will return our beautiful little daughter one day with us who died of brain cancer 27 years ago. Mm. So I'm a Jesus freak because since I am nine years of age, I realized God had a gift for me in Christ. But that got put literally on the fire. When you have followed Christ your whole life since you're nine, and then when you're 28, 29, your daughter dies in your hands, in your wife's hand, and she's three years and nine months of age. How do you deal with that? So 
why I keep saying I'm a Jesus freak and why I speak with this fire is because literally my wife and I are a triple miracle. Mm. We are physically alive because God stopped us before we committed suicide. I'm embarrassed mm. to say, but that's the truth. The, 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 the pain was so hard. The level of contradiction, humanly speaking, was so high, we didn't understand anything. I had in my Bible underlined many promises of healing that I had underlined with the initials of her daughter and the date in which the Lord had accomplished those miracles in her life, because he did. Then when she was taken to heaven, Satan, who is a piece of trash, mm -hmm. who has no future but hell, put in my mind, oh, you see, Pedro, don't open that black book again because God lied to you. He let you down. You thought he had healed his do your daughter and he took her away. What that piece of trash didn't know is that, number one, he's already conquered. He's been conquered. He's already been defeated. And what he doesn't know is that when you have the Lord, because you have the Lord, Amen. you can face anything. Hallelujah. Even the, the death of your daughter, and you can come triumphant at the other Amen. side. Amen. He doesn't know that the reality of his word came mm. immediately to my heart and to my brain and to mm. my soul and to my spirit and told me that in spite of anything, mm. in spite of anything, nor death, nor life, nor angels, nothing mm. will separate me from the love of God, which Amen. is in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. So this is when you see that what we have been exposed to is true or not. Yes. If it's culture or not. Listen, I'm alive because mm -hmm. of God's grace. Amen, amen. I'm alive because of God's grace. Mm -hmm. And what I can tell you is that this one I have here, I have so many things. Pastor, I have to come back again. Yeah, day. Oh, you have I would to. love yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I would love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, quickly share with you certain things. Um, so after that, the second miracle is that my wife and I are, after having faced what many sociologists consider to be the worst tragedy a human being can go through, which is the death of your kid, because it's not natural. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to bury us, not the other way around. It's true. Um, and many, many, many couples literally cannot survive the pain of that, and they get separated. My wife and I are married. We celebrated 34 years. This year will 30. Mm -hmm. 35 years. By God's grace. Poor thing. My wife yeah. deserves a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that knows me would know that. But I mean, she's the blessing God sent to my life, and we are stronger than ever as, Amen. as a couple. Amen. Um, we're not perfect. I don't know any uh, couple who is perfect, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. We are in the perfect one who is Jesus. Amen. And he takes care of all, all of our, stu him. our stupidities. Yes. yes. Well, with two knuckleheads, then he comes and, and, and takes care of, uh, mm. of us, and then we're good. Mm. And he's worked for 35 years. And the third miracle is that, humanly speaking, humanly speaking, I could say that I have elements to say that God abandoned me. Mm. But that's not the truth. Mm -mm. I'm ready to say what is the truth that supersedes what humanly I might think. Why? Yes. Because I have the perspective which is correct. This experience confirmed that this is temporary. Yes. Whatever you're going through is temporary. Mm. There's a reality that if you're in Jesus, if you accept God's gift to you, yeah, you mm -hmm. who are looking at me now, yes. watching me. Hallelujah. He loves you so much. He sent us today so. for us to share this with mm. you. Mm. He can deal with anything you're facing. Because even if it's a terminal 
infirmity that he can heal you from and we Amen. can pray for that Amen. even any of us even Lazarus who he uh, brought back from the dead after mm. four days of yes. being rotten in that cave mm. he died afterwards but you know what there's a reality that supersedes what we see here physically mm. there's a reality that is eternal Amen. and my suffering by not seeing my daughter and this little timeline which is this very limited physical mm. time is nothing compared with the eternity Amen. that I'm going to spend with her. Amen. Now, let me tell you this. How much time do we have? Ten minutes, something like Seven. that? Seven, Seven minutes. Yeah. Let me finish with this real yes, quick. Yes, 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 yes. You see me carry this. This is a bracelet. And it's not just a fashion statement. It's a bracelet with a purpose. And I will describe to you what it says in here. What is in here. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest story of all history of humanity right here in this bracelet. And it starts, it starts with a star. The star appeared in heaven, <laughs> guiding some wise man to the birth of a king. Amen. There's a little crown in there. Amen. He grew up, he became... A carpenter, there's mm. a little wooden uh, bead in there. But his true calling was to be a fisher of man. There's a mm. little fish in there. Amen. He had 12 disciples to whom he preached the truth, transparent mm. like a diamond. Mm. In a dark day of jealousy, envy, and death, three dark, dark beads. He was crucified, a little cross, mm. where he shed his blood a little red bead that cleanses us from all sin. My God. It's beautiful again. He rose up and he went to heaven, but he didn't abandon us. Mm -mm. You can see heaven is this blue thing here. Mm. He didn't abandon us. He sent the comforter, a little dove, his mm. Holy Spirit, to guide us and comfort us until he comes back Amen. again for the second time. Amen. And all of it, because of the love that the Father has for us, that's a heart. For God so, so loved, loved the world. The he so loved you Amen. that he gave his, his only, only son. Amen. So that whoever, and again that includes you, Amen. believes in him and accepts Amen. the gift of the cross. Oh my, my. Shall not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. And you're going to tell me, but Pedro, you don't understand. You don't understand. How come, you know, I'm in a different culture. How do you have the audacity to deny the reality of other traditions? Mm -hmm. Who are you to be so ignorant to say that only the cross? Let me tell you something. I'm telling you in a few seconds. This is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Whoever is a father or a mother will connect with what I'm saying. And if you're not father or mother, you're a son. You will know, or a daughter, you will know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Bishop, isn't it, isn't it true that the worst thing a camper can face is a mama bear with cubs around? Wow. Because she will do anything to destroy yes. whoever comes yes, near yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. With passion. Anybody will do the same. If... This was my daughter. I remember when we had fires near our, our, our building in Venezuela. I would take her and jump and run the stairs down. And I remember that I would even be willing to even with the permission, with asking God, God's forgiveness. I would think that I would even jump and become soup as long as I can try to make her bounce and live. Mm -hmm. Because a father will do anything to save or to protect his kid, his daughter, his son, from harm. And this is the reason why I believe the cross is the way, not one of the ways. Amen. With all the respect to other cultures and other beliefs especially, because it's not a cultural thing, it's a belief thing, and all other philosophies. I believe that it's of, as a father, imperfect that I am, I'm willing to pay any price yes. to protect my daughter. Yeah. Pastor, it's not a good thing to say, but I know that human beings are willing to even kill yes. to protect. You put me in jail. I destroy my life. It's not a Christian thing to do. I'm talking about something natural. Mm -hmm. You do anything because I'll pay anything to protect my kid. You're willing to tell me that the perfect 
Father, Hallelujah. God, would Hallelujah. have allowed his son to go through the cross knowing that any other system works. Mm. Yeah. If total submission would work by us doing the right our things. right things, mm -hmm. God will say, son, you don't have to go through the cross. Mm -hmm. As a father, he would have protect his yes, son. Yes. You say, they can do it on their own by yes. doing good deeds. Mm -mm. If reincarnation works, the father would have said, oh, son, you don't have to pay for them mm -mm. because that works. He would have done anything. The simple fact, That's right. dear bishop, and it's not a verse in the Bible. Mm -mm. My mind tells me that. Mm -hmm. It's a statement of logic. That's true. As a father that I am, I resonate yeah. with this. The simple, single reason that God Father, the perfect Father, yes. allowed His Son to go through the cross yes. is Nothing because there's no other way. No other solution. Because God would have not been that cynical or that contradictory mm. by allowing His Son, senseless, by allowing His Son to go through the cross because the Son asked for that. Mm -mm. He said, Father, if there is another way. Yes. And I think God again was thinking, oh, Son, what can I do? What can I do to protect? He says, Father, don't worry. I do it because I have to pay for them. That's the reason why I believe God loves you so much. Amen. He sent his son. And Amen. you're gonna tell me about Pedro, one second. I'm not good for anything. I'm not worthy. I'm trash. Well, let me tell you something God has for you also. Mm. What do we use a pen for? To write. To write. Mm. What good is a pen without ink? Mm -mm. What is it good for? Mm -mm. Nothing, it's nothing. trash. Nothing. You might feel like that. You might feel like trash. Mm -hmm. But that which is trash, two pens, which is considered a reject, which is considered nothing good in the hands of a creative person. Mm. Amen. <laughs> becomes an instrument of music. Literally, these are two pens, and I made an argul from Egypt, from my brother Jake's, uh, Jack's uh, country, out of, literally, out of two hotel pens. So that which is considered to be trash and good for nothing, which might be what you think of yourself in the hands, capable hands, of an expert, and in your case, and the most amazing hands, the hands of your creator. Woo! He will get music out of you. Hallelujah. Pastor. Hallelujah. Glory. Well, Pedro, can you look in that camera and just pray for those yes. that need to receive Let's Jesus? Yes, let do that right now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, creator of the universe, mm. we give you the honor and the praise Thank you, Lord that Jesus. only you deserve. Amen. This is not an exercise. Mm. And in, in, in eloquence or any of that. No, 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 no. This is a reality of souls yes. that resonate to the power of your grace in our Amen. souls, Amen. in our hearts. Amen. Lord, we extend, we invite. Hallelujah. We ask you recognizing your greatness, but you didn't create robots. Mm. You didn't force any, and you cannot force anybody to upset mm. your love. You yes. invite with your, end, with your hands and your arms open. Amen. Lord, we extend to everybody watching and now In the looking name of at this Jesus. last few seconds of this mm. mission, Lord, please, mm. this broadcast for you to become real in their hearts, Amen. for them to open their hearts mm. and to receive the incredible cool gift of so. purpose, of direction, of validation, so of affirmation of direction of their Amen. lives. Amen. Lord, you are the only one that can transform their lives. You are the only answer to their realities. Please become real to them. I invite you in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's knocking at your door. Amen. What you're feeling now is not an emotion. This mm -hmm. is a reality. This is the reality of the grace of God touching and knocking at the heart, at the door of your heart. Receive the gift of God in your heart, the gift of Jesus who died at the cross paying for you and for me and for all of us. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask you, please, seal the deal with the hearts that have accepted you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Until Amen. next time, know that God loves you and so do we. But Pedro, can you play as we close out? Please? Yes, I will. Just play as we close out. Amen. <laughs>